Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are a newbie or new in hydroponics, this video is for you. Now, if you are new to this channel, please click the bell button and for you to be able to become updated every time I will upload new videos about hydroponics. Okay, so this video is about newbie is a guide or every steps you made before you doing the hydroponics. Okay, so without further ado, let's start. Now, first of all, so look for the east side of your house wherein there is a beautiful sunlight or sunrise up there happening around and then try to look for a um, spot where can you put your a basic setup in hydroponics now the area of uh, hydroponics is that there is a big factor of uh, the sunlight is very good because the crop will grow bigger and faster if the sunlight is good so your setup must be at the east side of the house okay so try to look around you have to wake up at 7 or 6 a.m in the morning and then look around your house okay now if you are if you have an open field or open space at home try to look for uh, possible obstruction uh, like mango trees like uh, acacia trees if you're in the Philippines, there are lots of this. Uh, when the sun rays goes on, okay, and then there is a tree obstructed the uh, obstructed the greenhouse or the setup, that is not good. So you have to trim or uh, ask the Bureau of uh, Agriculture or DPWH or any uh, agency around your country to uh, trim or cut the trees that will. Uh, obstruct the sunlight okay so number two basic materials okay what are the basic materials in the hydroponics so if you are a newbie you have to start with crack method okay very very simple very very um, easy you have to mix and forget method okay so there are styro box available at the market okay there are fruit box out there or you have the empty container as long as you can store the water okay so uh, for about uh, 10 liters or up that's good okay so empty bottle so I will recommend that you will use uh, uh, 4 liters or 1 gallon of water okay so do not use uh, empty bottle that uh, will not sustain for the rest of the crop cycle or for about 1 to 30 days so you have to look for empty empty bottles or empty containers that can uh, restore uh, store 10 liters or up to 30 liters of water okay styro box uh, empty bottle and so on and so forth as long as the water is good and the volume is very uh, large okay that's not the problem okay so number three is the seeds okay if you are located at the lowland or city you have to choose uh, lowland seeds there are lots of variety there are uh, lots of brands available in the market you have to choose or you have to indicate or you have to read the selection the variety the batch number or if it is expired or what happened if you bought uh, expired already that it will not grow okay so as long as it is fresh and it is new to the market you have to buy that one so if you are not uh, if you know if you don't have an idea where so you have to go to uh, malls and then go to the uh, hardware area okay inside like Quilcon like handyman for example Okay, there are garden area there and then you have to look for a local brand okay for about 60 uh, 60 pesos or three dollars or two dollars okay uh, it is a local brand and very basic you can sew them right away without uh, any uh, uh, restriction so as long as you can follow the basic information right behind the uh, seedling Okay, see, uh, like right behind the 
uh, seed pack. Okay, so number three, seeds, and number four, planting media. Okay, there are two kinds of planting media. Number one is organic. Okay, what kind of organic? Uh, number one is coco peat. Okay, uh, you have to choose coco peat because it cannot be easily dried. Okay. When the sun goes uh, heat for 30 degrees or uh, 35 to 40, de uh, 40 degrees, it holds the moist of the water, okay, a longer period of time. Okay, now if you don't have coco peat, try to look for uh, carbonized rice hull and sodas, but sodas you can uh, boil it 10 minutes, okay, boiling, okay, do not boil it. Uh, from from the moment you turn on the fire and then uh, 10 minutes that's enough no that's not uh, the right thing to do but you have to time it as, uh, for the for the moment that one bubble pop up that's the time 10 minutes start okay so pakuluan natin okay now so i will not recommend rock wool because rock wool is very expensive okay so and then the rock wool is um, somewhat uh, just you have to use it and then throw it right away okay so what i recommend is coco choir or coco peat because it is very uh, available around and recyclable materials you can use it as long as you want to okay so foam is one of the inorganic materials in hydroponics okay so you have to look for a foam that is very soft and very uh, 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 root friendly okay root friendly so the so that the plant or the roots we can penetrate easily there are styrofoam or there are uh, materials that the plant cannot develop a good roots remember the root system is very important in plant growth okay if there is a bad root system well the plant goes bad the grow uh, the plant cannot grow faster and better okay so we go to the last part last part is the nutrients okay there are lots of nutrients available in the market you can buy a shopee you can buy a lasada can buy at Amazon okay now what is the best for you if you are a newbie or a new uh, to this hydroponics world okay try to look for uh, nutrients that can be easily uh, set up okay uh, I mean you have to put a and at the same time without um, waiting for another minutes you can put B and then that's it you have to shake well the water and then um, uh, set up your system and then forget it there are nutrients that have required pH down and somewhat you can monitor the PPM or TDS about that so as a newbie um, it kind of very complicated because every time or every now and then you have to check these uh, details the pH down the PPM the TDS okay so all you need to have is to find the best nutrients that is very easy okay I'm talking about you have to mix and then forget okay all you need to have is to count one to 30 days and harvest okay okay so that's the best solution for you okay now if you are not a UB, a newbie or you're a veteran already in hydroponics you can look for nutrients that is very low but high in performance okay now if you are a newbie so greenhouse is not uh, necessary okay remember that if you have the spot as beautiful as like this or where the sunlight uh, activity starts right away at 6 a.m in the morning 
so you have the right spot facing east okay and then uh, at least six to eight hours a day okay so in the philippines are very blessed because um there are two seasons like the rainy season and summer seasons and then nothing follows okay so you have to locate where those area at home okay so greenhouse is not necessary if you want to start doing hydroponics okay so as long as you have to do these guides and other videos just follow my instructions okay you're gonna make it to the finals okay so you have your location you have your seedlings you have your planting media you have your basic nutrients okay so that's it you can look for uh, online shops or uh, suppliers around you and that's it you can start right away okay so stay tuned guys and I made this uh, video in English so that our friends in Australia in other countries Canada or Brazil and many more countries that can understand our video sorry folks uh, I haven't do this one a uh, long time ago because I focus only for local uh, construction like greenhouses but promise me next video will be English okay so that's it guys hope you learn a lot from this video don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button see you next update the karatki karatki method master blend